Hello and welcome to CNN News 18 Cricket Next. We are gearing up for the start of another edition of the Lanka Premier League and to talk about more about the very exciting T20 league we have with us Chaminda Vas former Sri Lanka great left arm fast bowler who is serving as the bowling coach of the Colombo Strikers for this edition. Uh, thank you for taking time for us Chaminda how are you? I'm good sir thank you thank for having me this show. Yep you know just 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 few more days left before the edition gets underway so how are the preparations going on and how's the mood in the camp well the pre- preparation has been good this today is the first day uh, we practice as a team and yeah. all the local players uh, came for uh, training session today and um, except uh, foreign players but uh, yeah. overall um, looking good Yeah, and thoughts on the captain, which was announced just a couple of hours uh, before. You know, Dikvela has been appointed the captain of a star-studded squad, I would say, featuring the likes of Babar Azam, Nasim Shah, Patil Rathan, plenty of uh, household names and as well as established names there. So, any thoughts on uh, captain Dikvela? Well, um, Dikvela is a very positive and uh, is a leader, and uh, the yeah. way he ap- approach is different and. Um, even even local tournaments uh, is very positive player and you know uh, yeah. giving a slight advantage uh, for the team as well and um, i'm i'm pretty sure that uh, he will do uh, things turn around uh, during this um, lpl and good for his uh, performance uh, performance yeah. as well You know, just, just, just. There are so many leagues going around the circuit right now. Uh, simultaneously, so many leagues are happening. So, where do you see Lanka Premier League in that context, and how do you see it? You know, helping the entire Sri Lankan eco cricket ecosystem as a whole, and you know, just helping the side get back on track of the glory days which you yourself witnessed as a player. Well, um, it's getting um, uh, slowly. It's getting uh, better. LPL. This is the third edition. and um, we need to we need to have uh, good players from overseas uh, people yeah. like babra sam nashim shah and there are quite a few from australia and it's good to have all the foreign uh, cricketers and you know uh, playing competitive cricket and you know a lot of sri lankan uh, youngsters can learn from them and you know and even yeah. sri lanka cricket will uh, uh, go up Yeah, you know, and just just talking about how it's working the other way around. You know, plenty of Sri Lankan players are playing in other leagues around the world. So when they come back to the Sri Lankan setup and the LPL, do you think they return a very very groomed groomed commodity and ready to take um, even the best in the business? Well, uh, there are quite a few guys are playing in uh, different leagues, but. Um... uh when it comes to sri lanka when they play with the uh, with the uh, other other players they can learn so much from them too but uh, when you have all the overseas players like you know uh, the names i mentioned recently um, yeah. earlier so yeah. you, you can you can learn from so much from them how they bat you know even how they doing well in the situation uh different situation match situation so these these things you can learn when when you when you work as a team you know when you work as a family and a uh, lot of things you can gather from them and you know um advantage for the local cricketers yeah you know just 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 uh, touching a different topic now uh, with so many leagues happening around the world we have seen a t- growing trend now where players are opting to play more in such leagues and probably opting out of central contracts to some leading cricketers have done that in the past now and more are probably uh, exploring that option so where do you see cricket heading now in future do you think this is going to be the norm that more and more people will play t20 leagues over country well uh... T20 uh, cricket has been becoming commercialized, you know, and uh, uh, most of the players will benefit from financially and you know yeah. uh, taking care of uh, care of them. And uh, it's uh, it's up to uh, all the cricket boards to uh, find a solution, like you know, um, uh, giving uh, like you know a ma- to increase their match payment, like ODI or T20 or Test cricket. and uh, yeah. if you can do that if you can do that and uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, the boys will uh, choose uh, uh, which format they have to play and you know and they try to sustain uh, in one format and you know 
uh, trying yeah. to earn 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 something uh, to benefit their future. Yeah, you know, in the last five years, we have seen that Sri Lankan cricket has gone through the ups and downs. You know, transition has actually ended now. You would say that the team is looking pretty good. They won the Asia Cup last time around. They qualified for the World Cup comprehensively. I know it's not a good position to be in the qualifiers, but yes, now they have sealed the 2023 spot with ease. So, how how excited are you with this? current sri lankan team under dhasuna shanaka how how are they looking because it's a very important uh, 50 over year for them with the asia cup and the world cup coming well um, just one tournament we won last year the asia cup but yeah. uh, winning asia cup means that you know you can't um, expect everything happen uh, all the tournament but um, uh, we we have to we have to play well you know um, being um, sri lanka Cricket, you know, uh, after 1979, we are playing, uh, qualifying again, yeah. and uh, yeah. this is not this is not a country. Uh, there are so many good cricketers produced in this country, and you know, and played. We have we have played about um, uh, we have come about four World Cup finals, 50 over, and yeah. uh, three uh, three T20 uh, World Cup finals. So. Having having such a team like that, you know, and uh, our um, club system has to be improved, and you know, and um, uh, get the get the right players uh, according to uh, formats, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, try to try to play the best best level in the team. If you can do that, you know, we have so much talent in this country. Yeah. And uh, getting them is the most important thing. You know, it's up to the Sri Lanka cricket. It's up to the selectors to pick the right people. And I'm pretty yeah. sure that if they can do that, uh, our cricket will. Um, we have everything. You know, uh, last time around when a World Cup happened in India, Sri Lanka were there in the final 2011 Wankhede. I'm sure you would have uh, some memories watching that game from close quarters. But do you think this side now, you know, the kind of bowling variety which we are seeing, we have that right dose of mystery and accuracy. The likes of Madhu Shanka, Pathirana, you know, Thikshana, they're rising up the ladder now. Do you think this team has what it takes to get the glory days back in the island? Because you definitely need some cheer back home and cricket is no no better way than cricket to get it. Well, uh, we 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 have uh, talented cricketers like you know uh, Vani Duhasaranga, uh, one of the best uh, leg spinners I've seen in the world, and my yeah. um, Steekshana, uh, Mr. Bowler. You know there are so many so many uh, varieties we have, and Matisha Patitna has been performing really well in uh, IPL, and yeah. uh, we, we have Dushmanta Shamira and um, Lahiru Kumar. But uh, the most important thing we have to play as a team, you know, when it comes to big tournament and uh, playing combination and uh, playing smart cricket is most important thing. And uh, if we can do that, I'm pretty sure that we can fight, we can give a fight to any team and, you know, and yeah. uh, we can do well. Yeah, you know, just just last couple of questions. You know, the Asia Cup for the first time will be played in a hybrid format, so to say. Um, good for the island that you know cricket will be played in Sri Lanka, but then players will have to kind of travel between Pakistan and Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka included. So, how how much do you think uh, is that going to take a toll on the players because there's there's a lot of travel between games? And do you think this is kind of an ideal scenario for a small tournament like the Asia Cup? Well, uh, most of the players have been. Um, uh, Doing that, uh, mostly like, you know, when you play even uh, franchise cricket, you know, franchise cricket, uh, you play like, you know, two, uh, two to three days prior, you know, you're not, you're not going to practice, you're not going to practice for, um, uh, like, uh, when you practice as a country, you know, uh, two weeks prior, three weeks prior, you know, but, you know, these guys have been playing regularly, these guys have been uh, traveling. And they are quite used to it, and you know the yeah. the the modern cricket is like that, you know. And uh, whenever whenever time they have to, you know, they have to focus their uh, fitness fitness as well. And you know, uh, when it comes to cricket, they have to travel and you know just uh, yeah. play the game. You know, just just one last question before I let you go. Fifty over World Cup in a couple of months' time, India. You know, who do you think is going to go the distance? If you would like to pick a winner at this stage, seeing the way teams are performing, and what's your take on how the Indian team is shaping up uh, ahead of this uh, home World Cup for them? Uh, too early to predict, uh, Sahil. Uh, Fifty over World Cup uh, in October, 
and the, i think the most of the like all the team uh, participating for the world cup have a good chance like and yeah. uh, i'm playing in india as well but india have a slightly more advantage because they have been playing in india and they know exactly the wickets are they have power uh, players you know they have everything so a uh, slightly advantage for the india but uh, other teams also going to be very competitive when it comes to the uh, world cup 50 over yeah you know thank you so much uh, for taking time and talking to us and being so honest and upfront in your responses i wish you all the best for the tournament and i hope you have a good season and hope to see you soon thank you so much for taking time thank you sir thanks a lot